Hello everyone. In this session, we have to start new article from chapter 5 oscillation and this article is composition of SHM. Now, in this article, when we are considering two SHM, then we have to obtain what is the resultant displacement, what is the resultant amplitude or what is the resultant phase. These things we have to obtain. So, we consider two SHM. So, let I write the first SHM x1 is equal to a1 sin omega t plus phi 1. We are considering two SHM with different amplitude a1 and second SHM having amplitude a2 and the initial phase phi 1 and phi 2. Period is same so I'm so I written here omega only. Second SHM x2 is equal to a2 sin omega t plus phi 2. This is second SHM. Now the resultant of these two SHM we have to obtain. Hence, resultant is resultant is so x is equal to I can write x1 plus x2. Now let I substitute the values of x1 and x2. This is x1, this is x2. So a1 sin omega t plus phi 1 plus a2 sin omega t plus phi 2. Now we have to use here formula by using let i tell you a formula by using sine of c plus d so or sine a b i use sine a b or uh, c i write c is okay here c plus d so sine c cos d plus cos c sine d cos c sine d by using this formula we can write x is equal to a1 as it is. So, this term I have to expand sine of omega t cos phi 1 plus cos omega t sin phi 1. So, this is the expansion of this bracket. Similarly, we can use here also the same formula. So, I can write here plus I write a2 then in a bracket this sin omega t cos phi 2 plus cos omega t sin phi 2. Now after that this a1 multiplied by every term of this bracket and a2 multiplied by every term of this bracket. So I can write here. So a1 sin omega t cos phi 1 plus a1 cos omega t sin phi 1 plus a2 sin omega t cos phi 2 plus a2 cos omega t sin phi 2. Then after that, we can take sin omega t common from this first term and this third term. And then whatever we get in a bracket that I have to write. So I will take common sin omega t here from first and third term. So we get in a bracket a1 cos phi 1 plus a2 cos phi 2. From second and fourth term, I can take cos omega t common plus cos omega t. Then in a bracket, we get a1 sin phi plus a2 sin phi. Now, uh, we try to reduce this equation by doing some substitution. So, let me substitute here. Let's substitute. Let substitute. Now, what we have to substitute? Let I write it here. R. So, you can see this term. So, here amplitude, cos and phase amplitude cos and phase so instead of that i write resultant amplitude so resultant amplitude i use r and the cos of phase i use delta for phase so instead of this bracket i substitute this let's substitute this r cos delta or uh, substitute a1 cos phi 1 plus a2 cos phi 2 is equal to r cos delta i substitute and instead of second bracket, you can see amplitude, sine, phase, amplitude, sine and then phase, initial phase. So, I can write here. So, a1 
साइन फाइव वन प्लस ए टू साइन फाइव टू इज इक्वल टू आर साइन डेल्टा आई सब्सिट्यूट आर साइन डेल्टा नो आई गिव यू इक्वेशन नंबर वन एंड इक्वेशन नंबर टू सो बाय यूजिंग दिस इक्वेशन वन एंड टू इफ आई सब्सिट्यूट दिस टू इक्वेशन इन दिस देन वी गेट हेंस then we get resultant displacement x is equal to r sin omega t into this r cos delta so this sin omega t into this r cos delta we get x is equal to r sin omega t cos delta that's r i written first plus r this r then cos omega t and instead of this means cos omega t into this bracket is r sin delta so r i written first then cos omega t sin delta now r we can take common so r in a bracket i can write sin omega t cos delta plus cos omega t sin delta now after that so this r sin omega sorry sin omega t cos delta plus cos omega t sin delta so this is expansion of this formula r sin of this omega t plus delta so this is expression for resultant displacement this is expression for resultant which formula we use here we use same formula here whatever the formula we used to expand this term and this term the same formula we use so here to reduce it so this is resultant displacement this is expression for resultant displacement now after that we have to obtain expression for resultant amplitude and resultant phase so first we obtain resultant phase and then we can obtain resultant amplitude resultant amplitude require more space so first resultant phase so resultant phase resultant phase we shown by this delta you can see this equation 1 and 2 this delta is the resultant phase and this resultant phase formula we have to obtain so we can do one thing here we can take division of these two so by equation 2 divide by equation 1 equation 2 divided by equation 1 what we get i write this right hand side first r sin delta divided by r cos delta so what we get this rr get cancel so i write it like here r sin delta divided by r cos delta is equal to so this term divided by this term so a1 sin phi1 plus a2 sin phi2 divided by a1 cos phi1 plus a2 cos phi2 now here r r gate cancel sin delta by cos delta tan delta tan delta is equal to this but we have to obtain expression for delta so tan i can shift to that side tan inverse so we get here delta is equal to tan inverse of this bracket so a1 sin phi1 plus a2 sin phi2 divided by a1 cos phi1 plus a2 cos phi2 so this is expression for resultant phase this is expression for resultant phase similarly we have to obtain expression for resultant amplitude resultant amplitude means r formula of r we have to obtain now we don't have space here so i can erase this part here so by using again equation 1 and 2 we have to obtain expression for resultant amplitude so the i will give here heading resultant amplitude resultant amplitude resultant amplitude by capital r so equation 1 and 2 so i can see equation 1 equation 2 now i will do here squaring and adding equation 1 and 2 so by 
squaring and adding 1 and 2. We have to square and we have to add. So this side is smaller, the right hand side. So I can square this side, this square plus this square. So square of this r square sin square delta. So I can write here r square sin square delta plus square of this r square cos square delta r square cos square delta is equal to square of this plus square of this. I can write in a bracket here a1 sin phi1 plus a2 sin phi2 bracket square plus this square a1 cos phi1 plus a2 cos phi2 bracket square. Now I can erase the other part of the board. We require more space here. So I will erase this one. Take Now here, after doing this square. So here r square is common. So I can take r square common. So in a bracket sin square delta plus cos square delta. So here square of this. So I can expand square of this by using a plus b bracket square. You know that a plus b bracket square is a square plus 2ab plus b square. So a square in this square. So a1 square sin square phi1 plus I can do this square and a2 square sin square phi2 plus 2 into this into this 2 into I write first a1 a2 2 into a1 a2 then sin phi1 sin phi2 so this is expansion plus now similar manner we have to expand this bracket also by using a plus b bracket square expansion a square plus b square plus 2ab so this square a1 square cos square phi1 plus a2 square cos square phi2 plus 2 into this into this 2 into this a1 a2 i write first a1 and a2 and then cos phi1 into cos phi2 cos phi1 into cos phi2 then after that this term and this term we can take a1 square common then what we get in a bracket we get sin square phi1 plus cos square phi1 now you know that here sin square delta plus cos square delta is 1 so r square i written this is coming 1 similar manner when we write a common of a1 square from these two term then in a bracket we get sin square phi1 and cos square phi1 sin square phi1 and cos square phi1 addition is 1 so i can write a1 square plus Similar manner here also a2 square we can take common then in a bracket sin square phi 2 plus cos square phi 2 which is also 1 plus here 2a1 a2 is common 2a1 a2 is common then in a bracket sin phi 1 sin phi 2 in plus this one cos phi 1 cos phi 2. Now, this is expansion of cos phi 1 minus phi 2. So, I can write this as it is a1 square plus a2 square plus 2a1 a2 into this cos of phi 1 minus phi 2. So, this we get. So, we get here r square. But we have to obtain resultant amplitude r. r we have to obtain. Hence, r is equal to r is equal to under root. So under root this a1 square plus a2 square plus 2a1 a2 cos of phi1 minus phi2. This is expression for this is expression for resultant amplitude. I hope everyone understood this formula. Now here also we can learn two cases, two, three cases we learn here. Case one, when the phase difference between two waves, sorry, two SHM is, I mean this is a phase difference, phi1 minus phi2. 
if this phi 1 minus phi 2 is 0. It means that the two SHMs are in same phase. When they are in same phase, then difference is 0. Then cos 0, you know that cos 0 is coming 1. So if this is coming 1, then we get under root r is equal to under root we get a1 square plus a2 square plus twice a1 a2 because cos of this is coming 1. Then under root this it means that we can write the same like this a1 plus a2 bracket square you know that a plus b bracket square you know that a1 square plus a2 square plus twice a1 a2. Now under root a1 plus a2 bracket square we can write a1 plus a2. So this is the resultant amplitude. Means when the two SHMs are coming in same phase then their resultant amplitude is addition of their individual amplitudes. Similar manner case 2 when they are coming in out of phase with the phase difference of 180 degree means if phi 1 minus phi 2 is 180 degree or pi hence cos 180 is minus 1 so cos 180 is minus 1 so minus 1 into this minus only the minus term is coming here so we get r is equal to under root a1 square plus a2 square minus twice a1 a2 so which is the expansion of a1 minus a2 bracket square, you know that a minus b bracket square is a square plus b square minus 2ab. So that we have to use. So by using that, we can write hence r is equal to a1 minus a2. So this is the resultant amplitude. So when two waves are coming in opposite phase or phase difference 180 degree, then resultant amplitude is a1 minus a2. Case 3. One more case we have to write. If they are coming out of phase with the phase difference pi by 2. If phi 1 minus phi 2 is a 90 or pi by 2. Then r is equal to under root. So what we write. So you know that cos 90 is 0. 0 into this 0. So we get under root a1 square plus a2 square. So under root a1 square plus a2 square we get. So this is a resultant amplitude. Now here, we learn three cases here when the phase they are coming in same phase, means the phase difference 0, then resultant amplitude is a1 plus a2. If both the SHM having a same amplitude, then resultant amplitude is a plus a, 2a. So here, if they are having a same amplitude, then a minus a, 0, means one cancel another when they are coming in opposite phase and the amplitude is same. So here, when they having a same amplitude, then under root a plus a, under root 2a, sorry, under root 2a square. So under root 2a square means root 2a, we can write. So this is the resultant amplitude. We can write many cases here by substituting here a different value of the phase difference. But that's it here. We require these two cases in another chapter. So you remember this, when they are coming in same phase, resultant amplitude is a1 plus a2. When they are coming in out of phase with the phase difference pi or 180 degree, then resultant amplitude is a1 minus a2. So in today's lecture, that's it only. This chapter we have to continue in the next session. Thank you.